two Grand Prairie City Council races are heading for a runoff following the May 1st election. In District 6, unofficial returns show incumbent Jeff Woldridge and Kurt Johnson finished ahead of the other candidates, but they did not receive a majority of votes. The unofficial returns show the same situation in District 8, with incumbent Greg Gessner and Steve Jr. Easy Onu finishing ahead of the field but not getting a majority. The results mean there will be a runoff on June 5th between the two top candidates in both districts. Elsewhere on the May 1st ballot, District 5 incumbent Cole Humphreys won another three-year term after running unopposed. And voters authorized the city to issue up to $75 million in bonds for economic development. Officials say the bonds will be used for several initiatives, including development of conference center hotel facilities at Epic Central, construction of restaurant buildings at Epic Central that would be leased to restaurant tours, the purchase of land or buildings in downtown to potentially develop or redevelop restaurants, retail, and housing, and other proposals to increase economic development. All bond projects will be subject to the City Council's due process for discussion and approval, and the bonds will be repaid from property tax revenue over 20 years. I'm so excited that they put our tr their trust in the whole council because we unanimously voted to put it on the agenda and have it go to the citizens. And we really think it's going to bring in a lot more revenue than the bonds retirement debt. It's going to generate income which will help us in the future. So I'm, I'm so excited. And to those that voted against it, I want to, you just mark it down. We'll show you over time, the proof's in the pudding, folks. We will show you that we are going to do what we said we're going to do, and this will work out good for our city. For more information about the bond issue, visit gptx.org slash bond election. 95-year-old James Parsley is heading into the wild blue yonder one last time. Parsley received the Texas Congressional Gold Medal for his service as a World War II Civil Air Patrol pilot, flying a small airplane along the Texas Gulf Coast looking for enemy submarines. And we found a few, uh, reported a few to the Coast Guard, and I think we sank two, but I wouldn't swear to that. On Thursday, Parsley climbed into a cockpit for the first time in many years. Aviator Air Flight School Grand Prairie provided the airplane and the pilot as part of a special wish organized by the senior center where Parsley lives. We are doing every month, we take a different resident and we're doing what's called a tree of dreams, which we have mounted on our wall. And James is the very first recipient of the one at the Wellington of North Richland Hills. And what that is, is, is we fulfill one of their wishes and whatever that may be. With James, it was, it was to fly on a plane one more time. And during the short flight, the veteran aviator got one more chance to take the controls and experience the sensation that hooked him at an early age. Just the exhilaration of being free from the earth. It's, it's, a, it's a sensation that you get nowhere else. And I think that all pilots will agree to that. It all seems like a fitting gesture as we honor our military this Memorial Day weekend. The Grand Prairie Libraries are pleased to announce that they will be expanding their hours for customers. A new schedule for the city's three library locations will go into effect on Saturday, June 5th. Well, this is a big news for this summer because as we're moving through the pandemic, we're going to expand the hours at the Maine and Warmack libraries. Both buildings will be open 11 to 5 on Saturdays now. They'll be open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Fridays from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now we're still going to keep some safety protocols. The computers will still be safely distanced. We're not opening up our kids' play area yet, but you're gonna be able to come to the library more often and certainly on the weekend. In addition, for the first time in a long time, library staff is preparing to host an in-person outdoor event to kick off their popular summer reading club program, which will be on the same day that the new hours go into effect. 
We are really, really excited to have safe in-person outdoor programs this summer because a lot of our young patrons, they haven't been to a big outdoor program or a big in-person program in well over a year. So this is gonna be really great. And we have our summer reading club kickoff on Saturday, June 5th, and it's gonna be from 10 a.m. to noon. We're gonna have outdoor crafts and activities and they're gonna be running around. We're gonna have music and they maybe might even to meet a few of their favorite heroes. So we're really excited about that. To find out more about the Summer Reading Club, the New Hours, or any library programs, visit gptx.org library.